Hello! Today we'll be talking about Marill, the first water fairy type Pokemon, although it didn't get the fairy type until Gen 6. In Gen 3 through 5, it was the first evolution introduced in Gen 2 by Pokedex number to not share its typing with its pre evolution. It's also the first Pokemon in Gen 2 to get a future pre evolution, and the first Pokemon outside of the Pikachu line to be considered a Pikachu clone a Pokemon that is believed to be based on Pikachu. Starting in Gen 3, it's the evolution of Azuril, who evolves when leveled up with high friendship. Marill's previous PYC dates are August 27th, 1996, June 18th, 1999, April 8th, 2002, January 27th, 2005, November 18th, 2007, September 8th, 2010, June 29th, 2013, April 19th, 2016, February 8th, 2019, and November 29th, 2021. I like Marill's design. It's fun to see a water mouse. I also find his tail interesting. I, like many, most remember it from Pika Blue, although I most know it with others talking about it in retrospect, as I was too young to have known about Pika Blue at the time. As mentioned earlier, Marill is considered a Pikachu clone. And because of this, when Marill was first revealed before its name was revealed. Yes, apparently that was something the Pokemon company did at one point. People, seeing its similarity, gave it the name Pika Blue. Anyway, let's get into the Volvedia article. Hello and welcome to the Volvedia section of the video. Today we'll be talking about Marill, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. It was all one word in Gen 2. Its number is 0183. This is what it looks like. Its type is Water Fairy. Since it's our first Water Fairy, we can see the water inside and the fairy outside. Abilities, thick fat or huge power. Sap Sipper is its hidden ability. Gender ratio is 50-50. Catch rate is 190 or 35.2%. Breeding is egg groups. Water 1 and fairy, hash time 10 cycles. Height is 1 foot 4 or 0.4 meters. Weight is 18.7 pounds or 8.5 kilograms. Base experience yield is 58 in Gen 2 through 4 and 88 in 5 plus. Leveling rate is fast, EV yield is 2 and HP, shape is that, footprint is that. Pokedex color is blue and base friendship is 70. Marill is a dual type water fairy Pokemon introduced in Gen 2. Prior to Gen 6, it was a pure water type Pokemon. It evolves from Azuril when leveled up with high friendship and evolves into Azomarill starting at level 18. Biology, Marill is a small, blue, bipedal, semi-aquatic rodent Pokemon. It has a nearly spherical shape with a white belly, and it has round ears with red insides. These sensitive ears can detect distant sounds. Marill's arms and feet are short and possess no visible digits. There is a blue, bubble-like ball at the tip of its zigzagging black tail. The tail is flexible and configured to stretch, and the ball is full of oil that acts as a buoy to help keep Marill afloat. The ball at the tip of its tail can glow when Marill attacks. In the anime, Marill was shown to be able to bounce on its tail. In the TCG, Marill is shown to rapidly spin its tail, seemingly readying for an attack. Marill is able to swim in strong currents without being slowed down by the water's resistance due to its water-repellent fur. Marill feeds on aquatic plants in addition to fishing for food. When it dives, its tail can be seen bobbing on the water's surface. It will anchor its tail around a tree when fishing at the edge of a fast-moving stream. Marill never gets cold after swimming in cold water due to its water repellent fur drying up quickly the moment it leaves the water. It lives on the water's edge. Prior to Gen 6, Marill and its evolutionary relatives are the only known Pokemon that have huge power as an ability. So you got Marill floating through the help of its tail. You got a bunch of other Pokemon. Marill spinning its tail to attack. Evolution, Marill evolves from Azuril and evolves into Azumarill. So you've got Azuril, Marill, and Azumarill. Game data, NPC appearances, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time, and Explorers of Darkness. Marill is the older brother of Azuril, who is kidnapped by Drowsy during the main storyline. In the post cred storyline, Marill calls on the player and partner to find a way to wake his brother up from a nightmare. Aww. Pokedex entries in Gen 2 and Gold. The tip of its tail, which contains oil that is lighter than water, lets it swim without drowning. Silver, the end of its tail serves as a buoy that keeps it from drowning, even in a vicious current. Crystal, the fur on its body naturally repels water. It can stay dry even when it plays in the water. Persid Team 2, if you have Pokemon Red, Silver, Crystal inserted, you get the Gold entry, but if you have Pokemon Blue, Gold, or Yellow inserted, you get the Silver entry. In Gen 3, in Ruby, Marill's oil-filled tail acts much like a life preserver. If you see just its tail bobbing in the water's surface, it's a sure indication that this Pokemon is diving beneath the water to feed on aquatic plants. In Sapphire, when fishing for food, at the edge of a fast-running stream, Marill wraps its tail around the trunk of a tree. This Pokemon's tail is flexible and configured to stretch. Emerald, its body is covered with water-repellent fur. Because of the fur, it can swim through water at high speed without being slowed by the water's 
Resistance. Fire Red is the silver entry, and Leaf Green is the gold entry. In Gen 4 and Diamond, using its tail as it float. It dives underwater. It likes eating plants that grow on river bottoms. Pearl. The tip of its tail is filled with oil that is lighter than water, so it acts as a float. Platinum. The oil-filled end of its tail floats on water. It keeps Marill from drowning even in a strong current. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, their gold and silver counterparts. In Gen 5, Black and White is basically Platinum's. But Marilla is the crack casing. In black 2 and white 2, the oil-filled tail functions as a buoy, so it's fine even in rivers with strong currents. In Gen 6, X is the crystal entry, Y is pearls entry. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are basically Ruby and Sapphires, but Marill and Pokemon are now the crack casing. In Gen 8 and Sword, this Pokemon uses its round tail as a float. The ball of Marill's tail is filled with nutrients that have been turned into an oil. Shield? <laughs> Even after Marill swims in a cold sea, its water repellent fur dries almost as soon as Marill leaves the water. That's why this Pokemon is never cold. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are their Diamond and Pearl counterparts. In Gen 9, Scarlet is Crystal and X's entry. Violet is Black 2 and White 2's entry. So we've got Marill in the Paldea Pokedex. We've got three of them, a couple in the foreground, and one sitting with a Psyduck and a Squabbit. I don't know what this is. It's maybe a reference to something. I'm not sure. Oh, the tail is in the water a little bit. That's a cool effect. Game locations, side game locations, and events. Stats, base stats, HP 70, attack 20, defense 50, special attack 20, special defense 50, speed 40, for a total of 250. Poka Athlon stats. Type effectiveness, damage normally by normal, flying, ground, rock, ghost, steel, psychic, and fairy. Weak to poison, grass, and electric for double, immune to dragon, resistant to Fighting, bug, fire, water, ice, and dark for half. Notes, if this Pokemon is given a ring target, the effectiveness of Dragon-type moves is 1, so it go from 0 to 1. If this Pokemon has Thick Fat, the effectiveness of Fire-type moves is a 4th, and the effectiveness of Ice-type moves is a 4th. Both would be a 4th instead of half. If this Pokemon has Sap Sipper, the effectiveness of Grass-type moves is 0, so it would be 0 instead of 2. Due to the conversion to fairy type, the effectiveness of steel type moves was half, so it went from half to one, and dragon type, dark type, fighting type, bug type, and poison type moves was one. So for dragon type, it went from one to zero, dark from one to half, fighting from one to half, bug type from uh, one to half, poison type one to two, prior to gen six. It's a weird period instead of a comma. Learn set by leveling up, because you can hypothetically have a level 2, Marill, we will start with 6. So, 6 Bubble Beam, 9 Charm, 12 Slam, 15 Bounce, 19 Aqua Tail, 21 Play Rough, 24 Aqua Ring, 27 Rain Dance, 30 Hydro Pump, 33 Double Edge, and 36 Super Power. By TM, 1 Takedown, 2 Charm, 3 Fake Tears, 5 Mud Slap, 7 Protect, 11 Water Pulse, 19 Disarming Voice, 20 Trail Blaze, 22 Chilling Water, 25 Facade, 28 Bulldoze, 32 Swift, 34 Icy Wind, 35 Mud Shot, 37 Draining Kiss, 43 Fling, 47 Endure, 50 Rain Dance, 52 Snow Skate, 55 Dig, 58 Brick Break, 66 Body Slam, 69 Ice Punch, 70 Sleep Talk, 75 Light Screen, 77 Waterfall, 80 Metronome, 81 Grass Knot, 85 Rest, 103 Substitute, 110 Liquidation, 117 Hyper Voice, 122 Encore, 123 Surf, 124 Ice Spinner, 127 Play of Rough, 128 Amnesia, 130 Helping Hand, 135 Ice Beam, 139 Misty Terrain, 142 Hydro Pump, 143 Blizzard, 171 Terra Blast, 181 Knock Off, 192 Focus Punch, 201 Misty Explosion, 204 Double Edge, 208 Whirlpool, 209 Muddy Water, and 227 Alluring Voice. For by reading here, what we'll do is we'll read it in this one, but we won't read it in the Azuril or the Azumarill videos. This group gives you Aqua Jet, this group gives you Belly Drum, this group gives you Copycat, this group gives you Parish Song. Delibird gives you Present, this group gives you Sing, this group gives you Soak, this group gives you Supersonic, and this group gives you Tickle. By Prior Evolution, Azuril gives you Splash, it's a normal type status move, has no power, has no accuracy, and PB hit is 40. In side game data, you got all this, yep, okay. Pokemon Ranger, Guardian Signs, in the browser entry. It attacks by spinning bubbles that make Pokemon slowed. You got this, okay. Evolution data, so... Azuril, level up with high friendship, Marill, level 18, Azumarill. So, breeding is holding the sea incense from gen 3 to 8. That's the sea incense, I guess. Sprites here, so, okay, a little darker than the modern colors, but what I'm more or less familiar with. 
Um, yeah, I got the red in here. It's basically the same. Might be a little, the tail might be a little bit different. Um, this is a green and pink. Makes sense. Um, then in Gen 3, uh, they're a little bit different blue, a little lighter one. Um, belly is a little bit smaller, I think. Um, there's maybe a couple colors in the mouth. That's interesting. Uh, this is, yeah, basically. So, so green, that, for the shiny, the biggest difference is the ears and the mouth are now red instead of pink. Uh, diamond and pearl got closer to modern colors. This lighter one, but for some reason goes back to the darker blue and platinum and keeps that in these two. I think the belly gets a little bit smaller, the white part. Um, probably just gets more simplified. Zigzag is probably a little bit more complicated. The, yeah, the zigzag doesn't seem terribly consistent. Um, the tail, um, uh, shiny again. Uh, really, that's, that is more or less the same. Might be a little bit brighter than the other one. This one seems different. I mean, because uh, it just seems more simplified, I think. But uh, in Gen 5, get the full back sprite. That's pretty cool. Um, Gen 6, we go back to kind of that lighter blue that we had in... Diamond and Pearl. This is about the same. Oh, it becomes orange. The ears become orange. Oh, that happens in this one. They, I mean, they kind of become orange. This become red. So the distinct, or the distinction, I guess, yeah, is red in platinum and orange in platinum as well. Um, uh, yeah. So then, okay, then I go back to this one. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit taller than these guns are. Um, that's interesting. I don't know, man. That was too difficult for them to translate this small thing with a long tail. I don't know. Tail also looks a little bit different, but yeah, overall pretty good. Uh, this is a little bit squatter. Yeah, they, they okay. So they made it a little bit squatter in Gen Seven. Um, interesting. I got the Holmes model here. That's pretty good. Uh, in the anime, Marill is seen in the Pikachu shorts. Hmm. Uh, Tracy's Marill is. The big one, I guess, and so is Lyra's Marill. They got Marill in the Pikachu shorts, I guess. Oh, it appears in a few of them. Okay. Um, other, yeah, you got all these. Yep, 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 yep. Pokedex entries. This first one I recorded for the anime section, so we'll let Dexter read it. Marill, a water type Pokemon. In episode 87 in Ash's Pokedex. So this is interesting because I believe this is the Orange Islands, the season two. Coloration, so I don't really know what voice I'm gonna give it, so I'm gonna give it the original Pokedex voice. So, Marill, the water mouse Pokemon. Its sensitive ears can detect distant sounds, and the round rubbery tip on its tail can expand and contract, assisting Marill in the water. So, this should be, uh, it says incorrect, should have said Aqua Mouse Pokemon. In Diamond and Pearl, episode 137, in Dawn's Pokedex, Marill, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. The tip of its tail floats in water, so it can swim in any current, no matter how rough. In Diamond and Pearl, episode 143, the same Pokedex, Marill, the Aqua Mouse Pokemon. Its floating tail allows it to remain steady against the strongest of water currents. Okay, got that, okay. In the manga, Marill and Magical Pokemon Journey. Very angry for some reason. Uh, got all these, yep, yep, yep. In the TCG, in the TFG, other appearances, Super Smash Bros. Melee, when released from Pokeball, Marill will immediately start running in the direction the ball was thrown. Any opponents in the way will be juggled with its tackle attack. It can be knocked off the screen with a strong enough attack. Trophy information? This Aqua Mouse Pokemon evolves into Azumarill. The round ball on the end of its tail acts like a flotation device, so it can float safely on the roughest of water conditions. It resides on Mount Motor in seclusion. Few of the creatures are ever seen. Marill's cuteness has earned it a large and loyal fan base. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Marill appears as a spirit. Trivia in an early design for Marill that was used in the Nintendo Space World 1997 demo of Pokemon Gold and Silver. Marill had a pink body instead of blue and it lacked its jagged tail. So you can see that here, Marill Sprite in the Nintendo Space World demo. For months prior to the release of Pokemon Gold and Silver, Marill was often incorrectly referred to as Pika Blue by fans due to its slight resemblance to Pikachu. It is even referred to as Pika Blue on Top's Pokemon the First Movie Trading Cards. We did this third point in the Togepi video, but not the sub point, so I'll read it. In addition, Marill and Azurill both have the lowest 
base stat at special attack of all fairy type Pokemon. Because Azuril's gender ratio does not match that of its evolved forms and its evolution, is not dependent on gender. Being female 75% of the time, while Marill and Azumarill are female only 50% of the time, female Azuril have a 1 in 3 chance of evolving into a male Marill prior to Gen 6. Whether or not this will happen is determined by its personality value. Azuril is the only Pokemon to do this. Why would they do that? They had genders in Gen 2! They absolutely could have made it fit- what? That's so weird. Okay. When they have the Sap Sipper ability, Marill and Azumarill are the only non-dragon type Pokemon that resist or are immune to all three of the first partner Pokemon types, Grass, Fire, and Water. Marill's name was originally spelled Marill, as shown in some merchandise for the first movie. It had two R's and lacked a second L. Origin, Marill may be based on a combination of a mouse and a beach ball, or possibly a personal flotation device, or life buoy. Its body and ears also resemble a water molecule. Additionally, Marill may be based on water rats, closely related species of semi-aquatic rodents of the superfamily Muroidea. That includes the European water vole, the Rackley from Australia, the South American water rats, and the Florida fl water rat. Marill's name, shiny color scheme, and tail might also indicate that it is based on Marimo, free-floating spherical balls of algae that are also known as lake balls or moss balls. Name origin, Marill, and Marill may be a combination of Mar, Spanish and Portuguese for sea, Marui, round or circular, or Mari, ball, Ruri, lapis, lazuli, and possibly Rill, a small river or brook, and marine blue. Now the languages, see also, External links to the Super Smash Bros. series. Let's move on. Now let's watch Marill's first scene in the anime. Hello and welcome to the anime portion of the video. Today we are watching Pikachu's vacation in the short. Ash Ketchum and his friends have put their Pokemon in this park to have a little vacation, I guess. And Pikachu, Squirtle, and Bulbasaur have put themselves in charge of Togepi here, um, and now, um, yeah, a few new Pokemon will be around. So, got this group of Pokemon database. So, Snubble. Snubble, a newly discovered Pokemon. Cubone. A ground type Pokemon, Cubone. Raichu, of course. Raichu. The evolved form of Pikachu. <laughs> yep. And Meryl. a water type Pokemon. Yes. Meryl. Oh dear. Uh oh. Oh no, what's the sense of happiness? Pokemon do not usually battle unless directed by their trainers. Hmm. Interesting. Translation activated. Let's set a good example for the baby. <laughs> hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, and that is Marill's first scene in the anime. I don't know what's going on with this. It's like a weird transition they do. I don't know. Now let's talk about the TCG. I have one Marill card. It's the ninth Marill card design. It was illustrated by Atsuko Nishida. I like the angle. It's unique. Marill has 60 HP. It's 1 foot 4 and 18.7 pounds. It has two moves, Rollout and Splashing Turn. In the video games, Rollout is a rock-type move introduced in Gen 2. It hits the opponent, Pokemon, five times in five turns, once per turn, doubling the damage each time. On this card, it costs one of any energy and hits for 10 damage. However, if Marill is evolved from Azuril, it hits for 30 damage. Splashing Turn isn't a move from the video games. On this card, it costs two 
water energies and hits for 20 damage. However, the player must also switch Marill with a benched Pokemon. Marill is weak to electric for plus 10 damage. It has no resistance, which is odd since it could have been resistant to fighting grass, fire, water, and darkness, as it's resistant to fighting, bug, often represented as grass in the TCG, fire, water, ice, represented as water in the TCG, and dark, darkness in the TCG, in the video games. It costs one of any energy for Marill to retreat. In the bottom right corner, there's the Diamond and Pearl expansion symbol. Its description reads, Using its tail as a float, it dies underwater. It likes eating plants that grow on river bottoms. This is the Pokedex entry in Pokemon Diamond, and it is similar to the Pokedex entry in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Marill is level 12. In the video games, it would be six levels away from evolving into Azumarill. Speaking of Azumarill, I don't have an Azumarill card, so the next Pokemon with a card I'll be talking about is Dunsparce. Now let's see why people love Marill. Hello and welcome to the community post section of the video. The question is, what do you love about Marill? And Sandra, Mendoza, Rivera, V4E responded. Marill is blue like bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls. Yes. Yes, it is. Thank you for your response. Let's move on. Now let's look at fan art. Hello and welcome to the fan art section of the video. Nobody said in fan art, so instead we're looking at DeviantArt fan art. For those of you familiar with the series, you might be wondering why we're on the single image. That's because this is the only image we're doing today. This is Pokemon subspecies Marill by Cool Pikachu 29 So we've got Marill in a bunch of variations, I guess. So we've got the Marill in the center. Then a sort of shaggy, lighter blue one. Then a different kind of blue, kind of sky blue, I guess. Um, with these white spots all over it. Then we've got sort of greenish one. Looks like it maybe it belongs in a swamp or something. Uh, then we got this darker blue one. It has little loops instead of the zigzags. And its body is much more like that. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, and I guess this one also has gray ears. The red's, I think, slightly different among them. But yes, it's very good. Let's move on. Thanks to everyone who submitted fan art, as I need to wait until I've talked about Meltank before I can catch a Marill. Tomorrow I'll be talking about Azamarill. As always, this is my proper outfit, and you'll see me tomorrow.